All right, so we're gonna look at this move, and it's a move that's gonna seem familiar because we do it a lot, but we're gonna take it to the next level by adding a kettlebell. So it is our standing spinal rolls, but we are gonna add a kettlebell to load it. And again, it's gonna take it to the next level. So something to keep in mind, you are gonna need something that is going to elevate you and not Jesus. I mean like a box or a sand bell or something that actually gets your feet off of the ground a little bit so that we're able to go a little deeper at that in range position. So for this video, I'm gonna be standing on a sand bell. It's probably gonna give me about a four inch orange lift all right so something that'll get your feet up as you're doing this movement you have the kettlebell that is going to provide some extra resistance all right so for this move you're going to want to move or for this move yeah for this movement you're going to move slowly and you're going to fight the resistance and it's going to feel really good trust me so for our spinal roll we always start with tucking the chin and as you're doing this movement you should be moving slow think about moving one vertebrae at a time I'm rolling the top half of my body first, because again, we want this wave um, kind of effect on our body. One segment of our body does not move until the one before it, all the way down. I'm laying my kettlebell down so that I can get some extra depth here. And then from there, I'm bending the knees, pushing through the sand bell. Again, straightening my legs first because my lower body is going to straighten before my top half here until I'm all the way standing, rolling the shoulders back and back to my starting position. So again, starting with that chin tuck, shoulder roll, movement. We are moving segment by segment down, down, <laughs> down the spine, all the way to the lower body and then driving those feet into the ground to press up. Again, this is gonna feel great on your back. All the way up, all right? So some things to think about. Breathe through it, all right? Don't hold your breath. Ideally, you'd be exhaling as you roll it down. And then nice, deep, slow inhale as you roll it up. And make sure that you're moving nice and slow so that you're getting the biggest bang for your buck for this movement, all right? Let's go. 